Welcome, my name is Ospi, and today, guys, I'm going to be talking about the story and lore and Sea of Thieves and where I think it should kind of go, and, uh, realistically, guys, there isn't much story and lore in the game, like, at all, to be honest with you, and I think that's something that a lot of people feel like are missing from it, like, I love the game, I love it, I honestly enjoy it a lot, I like what it is, you know, people are like, oh, there's no progression, there's no this, there's no that, I'm not really, I'm not mad at that, I'm not mad that all you get is cosmetics, but the one thing that I do think is, like, missing and that I could definitely use a lot more of is, like, story and lore and, like, why, you know, like, why are there a bunch of pirates in here, like, what's happening with the Megalodon thing, why is there a Kraken, why is this, the islands are named different things, you know, why is this island named that, did somebody name these islands, you know, what's with the outpost people, the bilge rats, you know, um, Athena's fortune, all that story stuff, I feel like they could delve so much deeper into this and give us, like, a sort of campaign thing, and, like, the Hunkering Deep was good in the fact that it sent you on a quest, right? Like, I thought there'd be a lot more of these in Sea of Thieves instead of just the voyages, and I love the voyages, don't get me wrong, but a, a guy likes a story every once in a while, I like to, like, learn some things, you know, be a bit invested into a game, and when I did these voyages, I was like, oh, they're not really story-oriented, but then, you know, the Hungering Deep came out, and it was very smart of them to kind of have, like, the story of, like, Merrick, this guy that got his leg cut off, you know, by the, the shark, the megalodon. Him and his buddies, like, all died. You go around finding the journals, reading them. That's, like, the first lore that I ever experienced in the game. Even though there's, like, mysterious journals around the map, you don't actually, like, read them, though. They give you quests and stuff. And there's, like, Merrick's paintings and stuff around the map now. But that's, again, with the Hungry and Deep and his journals that you could read and kind of learn a little bit about. And with the bilge rats, there's kind of some story with, like, some cursed stuff going on. But I don't really know, like, what exactly, you know what I mean? Like, the lore in this game is just kind of lacking, in my opinion, if I'm being completely honest. And that's why I really hope that with the curse sales, you know, and these upcoming updates and everything, I hope that they give us, like, a sort of campaign, like, not like an actual campaign mode, obviously, but a lot more, like, questy type missions, like the quest line to get the drum in uh, the Hungry Deep and then to kill the Megalodon. And you get the figurehead, you know. You get rewards for doing quests. It's cool. But more importantly, like, I just want to do a mission where I can do something for, you know, obviously it's not going to be there forever like the voyages will be. But in Cursed Sails, I hope there's, like, some mission that explains, like, why the skeletons have come in. And, like, it's not just, like, a cutscene or whatever in a trailer, but, like, something actually in-game that I can actually physically play and explains, like, oh, why are the Cursed Cannonballs here? Like, how do the skeletons, you know, build these ships? I know there was, like, the trailer thing, but I just hope in the game they actually explain a lot more of the story and, like, why are they learning how to sail? You know, how do they get these ships built, obviously? And, so, and that sort of thing, to be honest with you, because I love that part, like, of any game. I love story games so much. I think some of my favorite games, I love them because of the campaign, like Halo, like 2, and that sort of thing. Fallout, all their campaigns are really fun. You meet a lot of great characters, great people in the game, the NPCs. And I know the Sea of Thieves is based off, like, human human interaction, which is really fun. A lot of games are based off that. But even those games can have some story. Like, Fortnite has a lot of story behind it, even though it's just, like, a, um, well, I mean, it is Save the World, obviously. But you can see the story, like, develop in the um, PvP aspect of the game in the battle royale aspect, you know, you see the desert coming in, oh, like, you know, the people are the crazy jackrabbit, I don't, I don't, actually, I don't, I don't really know the story, like, extremely well, but a bunch of rifts happened, you know, the world is, like, colliding with California desert, whatever, it's, it's crazy, you know, and they're always adding, like, a little bit to the story that you can kind of see, like, evolving around you, you know what I mean? And I hope that Sea of Thieves starts to kind of do that with these next coming updates, like, Curse Sails, I could definitely see them adding some sort of main storyline quest that you go on to maybe like discover how these skeletons built the ships kill your first skeleton ship like why are you killing them like you know why are they here sort of thing what do you get when you kill them is there someone you can do it for is there a new uh person like that you can have sort of story missions with uh with the whole voyage thing just something like that because i feel like that'd be a lot a lot better to the game, like, Skeleton Throne, that event's cool, but there's not that much story behind it, it's like, oh, the thrones are out there, the curses and the mermaid thing, that's really cool and stuff, but there's not much story behind it, so, I just really hope that they add, like, one of my favorite games ever, Destiny, the one thing that Destiny was missing was story, like, they had story, they had more story than Sea of Thieves, to be honest with you, but it was just pitiful, like, it was like, oh, the Traveler's of Light, blah, 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 who the, who the heck cares, you know, it was all about the gameplay, but it was okay, it worked for that game, it was about the human interactions with others, and more about PV, uh, PvE, you know, versing NPCs and stuff in that game than the PvP, because I feel like Sea of Thieves thrives on, like, you seeing other ships and fighting them like that. But Destiny had a story, it worked. But I think this game would just 
would just be so much better and would have such a better experience if there was a story to it. Like these pirates, you could have a campaign like Skull and Bones. I know it's coming out uh, for the PlayStation, I think. Only. I don't know if it's PlayStation only. It might not be for PlayStation only. It might be, though. But it's like another pirate game. It's it's not cartoony and stuff. And it's going to have a story, a like campaign in it. It's not going like, to be the same as Sea of Thieves with the whole open world thing. But I'm going to, like, that story is going to be really cool. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm guessing, like, there's so many cool things with pirates, man, with stories and treasures and that stuff and all the lore that you can get behind it. It's not that hard, like, with the crazy witch lady, like, what's she doing with the skeletons? Like, I hope we learn about that and the, uh, the one after Curse Sales with the whole volcano. Well, not volcano, but, yeah, like, volcano, whatever, you know, Forsaken Shores. That one's going to be really cool. I hope they add more story telling us, like, how did this place come to be with the whole fire and the water around it? How do you get there? A whole quest involved in that. I hope they keep on adding these, like, big quests that take, like, a couple days, maybe a week to do. Because the Hunting and Deep Drum quest was pretty easy. It was just kind of, like, go around to these islands and get stuff. It'd be a lot cooler if it was a lot more, like, in-depth and you had to, like, read maps and, like, solve puzzles or something. I mean, how sick would that be? You go on, like, a mini little campaign every new update every two months and it's like a sweet like new big thing they add to the game not just more mechanics to play around with every single day but some story involved i mean story story help games a lot guys and i, I really hope that they do add more story and lore into the game i know they've been doing it with merrick a little bit and that sort of thing and that's like cool like little trinket stuff but i hope it's a big quest stuff coming in the future and they add more of these bilge rat adventures maybe have actual like quest lines and it's like oh hey like this is happening go and save this person here at this island you know like a pirate friend needs help like there could be so many npc stories and stuff that you could get involved there and so many new mechanics i think that they could do like you know go save this ship from the alliance like the merchant alliance needs your help you know or like oh the gold hoarder friend is being attacked by a skeleton ship and you got to go save like a gold hoarder ship like how cool would that be in curse sales like little mini more public events would be cool too like but with more story involved just like not just like oh go here and get this and then come back that's really fun and stuff i have fun with it but i really do think a main story quest thing would be very very beneficial to the game and i said story about it a bajillion times so i think it's time to end the video so thanks for watching so much guys please share like comment subscribe share down below do all the things and i'll see you next time